number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Hi, and welcome to Studio Time with Zach. My name is Zachary Rudder. I'm an artist based out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And on the easel this week, we've got a massive piano being delivered. But let me tell you guys first, I spent the morning rock climbing at Ascend Pittsburgh. My arms are exhausted. I really didn't plan this out too well because when the piano gets delivered, I gotta help them take it off the truck. And I hope I don't look like a big wuss. <laughs> This piano is going to be donated to the Women and Children's Shelter in Oakland and the donation was made possible by the Emma Munson Foundation. The Munson family reached out to me because they thought what better way to bring happiness and joy to this shelter than by providing art and music. Without hesitation, of course I said yes. How often does someone get to paint a piano and especially for such a good cause? This truck should be here any minute and I'm ready to get started. Oh yeah, baby, here comes the piano. Oh man, that's a big boy. Look at that beauty, oh my goodness. It's even bigger than I expected, <laughs> in a good way. This looks awesome in here. Look at this beauty. It's giant, it's gorgeous, Pittsburgh made. Can you even believe that I get to paint this monster? Now before we get started, I will have to rough the surface up with some sandpaper. Luckily I have an orbital sander for that. And then we have to take a trip down to Lowe's yet again to pick up our base coat. Let's make it happen. Yeah, we're gonna need more paint. So I literally only pick my paint based off of the color name pretty much because there's so many similar colors and shades. I think today's color is either gonna be So Charming or Flower Girl. Never mind. This caught my eye. Hibiscus. Love it. All right, we've got our pink paint. There's one more thing we need to do before we get started. And that's take a trip on over to the shelter and meet all the wonderful people that make that place so special. Let's get on the road. this awesome wall of inspiration we got going on here and then if you look to the left of me this is where the beautiful piano is going to reside in this loving shelter so let's get back to work now it's time to get started on the sanding we got to rough this baby up so we can start adding some color the visit to the shelter was beautiful unfortunately we couldn't do very much filming in there only the empty room where the piano is going it's a security thing and uh, i totally understood so the time has finally come let's get to work up we got the sanding done now it's time to start applying the base coat I'm using Valspar cabinet and furniture oil enriched enamel I've never used this stuff before but the woman at the counter highly recommended it after I told her I was gonna be painting a piano for a shelter it says I won't need a base coat but I think I'm still gonna prime it white just to be safe so let's get to work As you can see, we're about halfway done with the white primer. We're gonna finish up that other half and then uh, get to work on the pink. 
but I needed to take a quick second to chat with my good friend Jeff Fieldhouse of the Babyface Assassin podcast. So if you haven't yet, check out this conversation right here. Now let's get back to work. Whew. Am I the only one that actually really likes the white as raw as it is? That's just one coat of white primer. All we gotta do is let it dry, then we can start working on this pink. We've given this well over 24 hours to dry. The white is finished. It's time to transform this piano into something Liberace would kill to play. Would you look at that? The first coat of pink is down and I am loving it. Although I must say it's looking very Pepto-Bismol so far, wait till we continue on with the design. Let's let this pink dry, and while we let it dry, let's go on back to Mike and Denise and let them explain a little bit of the history of this piano. This piano was in our family's home for 10 years. Our kids learned piano on this piano, Emma played this piano. Until it went into storage, and we thought, what are we going to do with it? And it's just been sitting somewhere doing nothing. One of the things our Emma said, and she and her friends, they have Kunst for Lieben tattooed on all six of them which stands for Art for Life. It's one of the threads of our foundation, is bringing art to places where it's sorely needed. Musical art, performance art, visual art. Thanks, Zach. I'm just as excited as you guys are to be a part of this awesome project. That being said, let's get back to work. Up next, we have to do the skeleton outline. Check out this skeleton outline so far. I got a lot of work to do with the bottom still and both ends. I'm loving it so far. I cannot say that enough. I recently spent some time at my local Hobby Lobby and came across a brand of spray paint I was unfamiliar with that was on clearance. So today I've got a nice bright variety of iron lac spray paint. So let's get coloring. Colorful flowers are popping and they're not even close to being finished. I got the front, the top, and the bottom all worked on. Now it's time to get back to the skeleton outline on the edges. Let's keep hustling, y'all. black outlining. One thing that we can't forget, the sun heart. You can't have a Spread Love Army piano without the symbol of the Spread Love Army. So let's add that bad boy right now. We've got the sun heart on there. It's looking nice. We are so close to the finish line. Let's keep working. It's amazing what a little black paint can do to transform an image. I always tell my clients throughout the process of creating their pieces, let them get as ugly as possible because when the magic happens, it happens like that. on this bad boy. It is looking great. The 
piano is perfect. I'm in love with it. We've got all the black outlining done, but there's one more thing we have to do before we call this one finished. You can't play a piano without a piano bench. And I haven't forgotten about it. I've been saving it for last. We've got the first coats of the gold and the pink down. This thing is looking comfy and crazy good. I'm excited. I've got one more trick up my sleeve. I'm gonna be collaging Silver Surfer comic books on the inside of the lid. You guys may be wondering, why did he put the comic books in there? What does that have to do with the piano? Well, I want to remind each and every person that comes in contact with this piano that the universe is yours for the taking. Anything is possible, so follow your dreams. Now, before I show you guys the finished piano, there's one more thing I got to do before we can call this one officially done. And that, of course, is sign it. You guys don't actually think I'm really playing, do you? Everything on this piano is finished. Now it's time to deliver it to the lovely people at the Women and Children's Shelter. Mike and Denise should be arriving soon with the truck, and it's time to brighten the days of everyone in the shelter. Now let's get back to pretending like we know how to play the piano. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get the show started. piano is in the shelter and that's another one in the books as always guys if you had fun if you enjoyed yourself and if you think you learned a thing or two please like comment and subscribe to stay up to date with all the fun happening at studio time and until next time keep creating art bye guys <laughs> that was perfect.